This is a quick video on Flow for Spring XD and we're going to spend a bit of time looking at the text input box. Um, the text input box is kept in step with the graphical view so if you build it uh, using drag and drop then the text box updates to reflect that and if you edit in the text box the graphics view updates so I can type in something like time log you'll see the graphics updates immediately. If I edited this guy, this guy would update. But if you're starting from nothing, what you can do is just control space, bring up content assist, and you see you get the full list of sources you might want to use to start your stream with. Uh, I'm going to press H, and you'll see it sub-selects to say there's only one completion now, and that's HTTP. Press Enter to select it. I can then press content assist again, and it says, what do you want to pipe that into? So I'm going to pipe that into transform, or I can type the pipe the character myself. As for completions, there's lots, so let's sub-select that down to filter. Finally, there's only one that begins with L, I think, so that completes immediately log. And I've got a valid stream. If I wanted to have options, I can bring up content assist, and you'll see it's showing me the options available here that's supported by HTTP. I'll choose port, I'll give it a value. Uh, we're all good again. Um, but what happens if I start making mistakes? So if I say put an X there, you'll see it's an invalid element, HTTP X, you don't know what you're talking about. So you get that immediate validation feedback about whether what you're doing is correct. Uh, similarly, if I specify an option that doesn't exist on HTTP, because we saw the full set that do exist, Port 2 isn't one of them, so we get immediate validation and feedback that that's a mistake too. So that was a quick look at Contents Assist and validation when you're entering uh, stream data in the text box. Thanks for watching.